Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Cosmic DE. There have been plenty of updates in January. They have an alpha roadmap, so I am really excited to share this with you guys. So without further delay, let's dive right in. Okay, Happy New Year everybody. Although it's kind of like the 13th of January and by the way, it's past midnight, so I'm not going to be able to shout. Let's go through what there is. So when's the alpha? So they are working towards an eventual 24.04 release over the summer. So that means this is going to coincide with Ubuntu uh, 24.04 release, maybe a month or two later. Uh, that's what has happened historically, but I'm very excited. And obviously we're going to make a video. By the way, I tried to boot into Cosmic and but there are a lot of things which are incomplete as is expected this hasn't even become an alpha release as of now so it's okay uh, i am back in the old pop os and we're going to talk about some of the new things so first is they have a cosmic terminal now this looks amazing i have the image over here let's uh let's let's check it out a uh, beautiful it, it looks amazing you have the errors and i i really like the color scheme so that's, that's really good. And they have a ton of things. Uh, they feature bi-directional rendering, desktop themes, the syntax themes, GPU rendering, which is really important. And this terminal emulator was built using Alacrity terminal framework with a custom renderer based on cosmic text. While GPU rendering uses Glyphon and WGPU with soft buffer and tiny Skia is a fallback. Very exciting stuff, even though I don't understand half of it. They also have Rander. So Rander is basically a command line utility for listing and configuring displays in Wayland. You heard it right, guys. Pop OS, when Cosmic DE launches, it is going to run on Wayland. In fact, today, if you wanna build and run Pop OS Cosmic Session like I did, so basically what you would do is you would say sudo apt install cosmic session. Or uh, instead of session, you would just put a wild card and you press enter and it would install everything. And then you have to go into sudo nano Etsy. Uh, I forget the file name, but uh, yeah. So you have to go into a GDM3 custom config, custom dot configuration. And you have to set Wayland enable to true to be able to test. If this is false, it's not going to work. So evidence right i am really excited for this to to be uh on wayland and not on x11 as we can see uh, it looks really good and i really love the uh blur that they have put in it's not really a blur it's transparent and i, and I really like it so let's move on it's also available on nix os so you can build it and you can apply it over there if you want to the following features are still being developed. More details will be shared soon. I can't wait, guys. So you have the screenshot tool. So the screenshot tool is really important or even for development, right? And I really love that. So you have, uh, I guess this would be the entire window. This, this would be the entire, uh, this would be, okay, so this would be an entire window. This would be a selection and this would be the entire screen and you can you can capture it. I don't see an option for uh, record for screen recording, but that's okay. This is a screenshot utility. Uh, maybe it's planned for the future. I don't know, but this looks cool enough. Hybrid graphics, a very important thing, a very important decision rather that they have taken is hybrid graphics mode will be the only graphics mode for Cosmic DE. So what happens now in Pop OS, you're not gonna see it here because I don't really have a, a discrete graphics card. So what happens is you get the option to either run completely on the discrete graphics GPU using your NVIDIA card, or you can switch to a hybrid mode use where the DGPU is used only when an application demands it. And the rest of the time it runs on integrated graphics. And there is another mode where you totally cut off the discrete graphics card and you just run on the integrated graphics. But this will only have a hybrid mode, at least as of now. I'm not sure if this decision is final, but it is what it is. And that's okay. This is really important for battery because if you forget to uh, change the modes and you unplug your laptop, 
your battery is not going to like that. You also have a frosted glass effect, so this adds a blurred transparency to your visual theming, probably what we saw in the previous uh, picture, but unfortunately there's no way to animate a fog effect for when you exhale on the screen. That is true. Tiling applet. Now this has received a facelift too. Let's see. So automatically tile windows is on, tile windows on workspaces, per workspace, all workspaces, and new workspace behavior is floating or tiled. So this is really good. You can change whatever you want to. They give the options to the user and they don't decide for themselves. That is something which I really, really respect. And speaking of defaults, they have sensible defaults in place. That's good too. Tile current workspace, which is okay. It's a toggle. You have shortcuts, you have a bunch of options. And you also have the active window hint, which is really important because when you're just focusing on different tasks, you tend to lose uh, you tend to lose focus on what we know you're working on. Like things can get jumbled up and a simple hint would be very helpful for when you're just trying to focus, uh, put your, put a, put a hundred percent of your concentration in what you're actually doing. So you also have floating window stacks, stacks allow your pair windows together across applications like tabs in a web browser. So discussion is underway about how window stacking should behave. So that is an upcoming feature like the heading already said. We also have Cosmic App and Applet icons, so they are iterating icon designs for new Cosmic Apps and Applets. Will purple make the cut? Man, I love purple, lavender. Uh, they're one of my, they're like some of my favorite colors and I would really love to see them over here, not gonna lie. OSD, on-screen displays. These graphical overlays are what you see when you do things like adjust the volume, brightness, alt tab between applications, like something like this. So this is an OSD on-screen display. And so they should look familiar while matching Cosmic's more futuristic aesthetic. Cosmic's Alt plus tab behavior is also under dis discussion. So what happens in Pop! OS? So you can switch between applications, but um, let's see what happens. This is typical to Windows and Mac OS and also Linux, uh, at least in GNOME, but let's see what happens. Graffiti, a new aesthetic call for new wallpapers. Rest assured, they're bound to be spacey, starry, and all around cosmic. Man, there is a dearth of wallpapers right now in Pop! OS. They have been around for as long as I remember, and I would really love to see new wallpapers. This is not a meme. I genuinely want to see better wallpapers for, for Pop! OS. I am downloading Linux Mint, by the way, right now, and it's already almost downloaded. Mint offers an amazing array of wallpapers. It's mind blowing. And I really would love Pop! OS to have galaxies, um, Milky Ways, whatever you want. Amazing astro astrophotography, right? You have so many options. I just want to see some beautiful wallpapers in the next Pop! OS release. You also get graffiti, new aesthetic calls for new wallpapers. They are, yeah, yeah, so uh, yeah, th that's what we already covered. And then we have lock and login screen. So they are designed and in progress, but they'll need working buttons. E that's yeah. And they're also working on adding mouse emulation to the cosmic terminal and the ability to open hyperlinks in terminal, as well as ironing out a few wrinkles, which is standard stuff. Settings, settings, settings. Yeah. Tons of things, different things. Man, there is a lot of things. Adjust to display orientation, color profile, etc. Input devices, they're revising settings, so that's good. Adjusting mouse speeds when mouse acceleration is on. Fine tuning is really key uh, in this matter. Workspaces, designs for workspaces in Cosmic DE are under construction based on numerous discussions around the feature. That's okay. Wallpaper settings are being refined to improve features like slideshow and background fit. We're getting close. Yeah, because uh, the current uh, implementation I just checked into Cosmic, it's not that great, but I hope it gets refined. Design matching. In the design matching phase, we will be polishing up features that have already been implemented and making sure that they match our designs. Linux Mint is downloaded and I can't wait to make a video about that. The app library, launcher, and notification bubbles are a few implementations that we will be touching up and they have finger cramps, which is very normal. I get them too. I work in IT, so I know what you're talking about. And I don't know if you're going to see this video before or after the Linux Mint video, but definitely uh, this is dropping. 
And thank you so much for watching. I know this is just available. I like to go through the news. It, it just makes sense um, to keep update to keep updated because I haven't been in touch with Linux for a really long time. And I love to see how uh, Pop OS is uh, the Cosmic DE is coming along. And I would really love to change the blue. I I, I don't know, man. I, I just I hate to say it, but I grew tired of watching this blue from in Pop OS for a really long time. And I know they have options to change this. And I am really excited to try Pop! OS out in April when it finally drops. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next side. Peace.